Hello and welcome back to 2K23 Houston Rockets 1983 Rebuild. Technically, it's 1984 now, and uh, well, we're still in Season 1. And this is officially the longest uh, series I've ever done on a 2K game, and I'm, I think this is what I needed, man. For me to be able to get into basketball again just rewrite history um so last you guys would have seen was the uh all-star break and well just basically the same old houston rockets it's actually gotten worse losing because we did take uh you know face a serious injury with wally walker a uh, career not career ending but season ending possible career ending for him and um you know so i wanted to hop into atlanta hawks because we haven't looked at atlanta and just I wanted to see the crew that they were rocking back in the day, like way back in the day. And Wilkins w was in the dunk contest, so I wanted to take a look at him. Uh, ultimately, though, they've kind of taken a step back from last their last year performance. They finished sixty and thirty-two. Now they're twenty-six and forty-six, so not looking good for them. They're definitely not making the playoffs. So possibly we have a chance here to. Uh, to win this game, and this will probably be the last game, to be honest with you, that we, we take a look at for Season 1. There's no reason for us to hang around in Season 1 uh, for much longer. So this will be the last game you guys see uh, of the regular season. I am going to show playoffs, um, and the, we're going to be watching the NBA Finals 484. I like to show those even if my team hadn't hasn't made it. I just feel like that connects you to the franchise a little more. You know, I also like watching other teams around the league, not always necessarily around just my team. Um, and anyone who watches the channel for a while, you know that's how I do it. So this guy right here, Richmond, Richmond, he's been, he's had a tall task to, to, to handle, you know. He's replaced Wally Walker. He's only a 67 overall. Um, and we've really, this is not tanking. Okay, I want you guys to know that very clear. I wasn't trying to tank this year. I'm not losing games on purpose. We just, one, we, you know, we just had a bad team and we're playing for the future. I traded away some decent picks or some decent players that were older for draft picks. And then, you know, Wally Walker was a, a solid starter. You know, I'd say average, and then he got hurt. Now we got a, a below average person who's definitely not ready to be a starter starting. So here we are, sitting at only what, like, I think 13 wins or 14, something like that. So, uh, but Atlanta, we're here in Houston. Maybe we can win this game. Right off the rip early, it's com kind of competitive here. Going back and forth, there's a nice dunk there. And so. One thing I noticed about the commentating in this game, it's amazing that they actually give you some history or they're, they're commentating like it is 18, I mean, like it is 1984. Like they're talking about the dunking and how it's coming back and they're starting to transition to a type of game play they've never seen before out of players. I just think it's so unique, so cool. And I love that 2K did this before, you know, like they it seems like they're always the ones setting the trend setting the new you know line for for sports games i, I really wish madden and e, you know ea would would really make a freaking good game for football fans this is amazing I, i'm loving this and now i'm playing more basketball than i've ever played because of this this is now officially the longest series I've ever done here on my personal channel and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon because it, this is such a blast man and uh, so going into halftime here this game I know I'm kind of talking over the game that's you know I mean look we're not competing okay not for a playoff spot so 33 to 32 um and also I found out you know this is only available for next gen or well current gen technically since the PS4 and Xbox one are old gen now they don't have this, which I do feel is, you know, that kind of sucks. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, you can't really complain too much. Uh, it, the new systems have been out for a while. Now, I don't, I do think that they're still kind of hard to get, so that sucks. But, I mean, you can't be mad at these game companies for not focusing on the old gen and, and that they're focusing on the new gen. So, like, you just... I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you if you're, if you're still complaining about that. I will say for my, for the PC users, I feel bad for you guys because I don't know why, but they consider that old gen, which is 
just doesn't make any sense. But anyways, here we actually have a very close game, 35-34. One thing we've got to improve watching Houston play is our defense. We just, dude, we have no defense whatsoever. So even these games against these, you know, bottom, bottom of the barrel teams like we are, even when we face them, we struggle to win because, you know, we will keep it close, but we cannot stop their, their defense. Or excuse me, stop their offense. Like I feel like we have actually one of the worst, um, defenses in the league. As far as playing, you know, defense, but there's Tyrell. We I don't know if you guys seen, but we did pick him up. Maybe that was actually the last episode you guys seen, or maybe that was before the All Star break. I can't remember, but Tyrell is who I am controlling. Tyrell Oliver, we picked him up. He is a rookie. Um, I picked him up because he has the three pointer. As oh, that would have been so sweet if he could have finished that. And I was thinking, you know, it could, you know, maybe he could be the Curry of this generation. Unfortunately, uh, it has not worked out with him, and uh, I hyped him up for no reason. Gave him his own little thumbnail for no reason, because he has definitely struggled since, you know, he's been here. It's, look, at, there you go. He misses another one. You know, trying to be uh, evolutionary here with the three-point shot, and it's just not working for Houston, so can kind of see why we run through Sampson here as Tyrell. He is only a 70 overall, but he had a B-plus. Um, three-pointer, but that's still just not good enough. <laughs> not here, anyways. As there you go. See, look at that. Atlanta just cuts through our defense like butter. And I mean, that is a pretty good. Uh, Wilkin Wilkinson is a pretty good player. Or Wilkins, should I say, is a very good player. But Atlanta trying to run away with it here, 52 to 49. It's still close. We'll feed it to Sampson. That's kind of what our game plan always is, and he just never disappoints. That you know. He just, he just never disappoints. He finishes that one. And uh, 53 to 51, fourth quarter, five minutes to go. What can we do here? Come on. We can do something. Dump down to Sampson. Sampson, you know what he's going to do. He's going to finish. It, it's just as easy as one, two, three with him. We are building him around. We have him on a five-year contract. So we have plenty of time to, to build around him. Um, we are actually losing a lot of these players after this season if we don't resign. A lot of players are on their contract year, and a lot don't even want to resign. He did to Samson. Samson. Oh, he's gonna miss that one. That was an awkward, hard shot to make, and he's not gonna make it. That's a rare sight to see him miss. As oh, look at this, Atlanta. Oh my goodness, Houston. Any team though can do this to us. We are just that bad at playing defense. So two minutes to go here, 64 to 63, and I'm going to increase the quarter length just, I think, by two minutes for the played games. That way we're kind of getting something similar to uh, to the simmed, as there's Houston taking a lead late in the fourth, 65-64. Could we have we have a win? I want a fast break here. He's going to slow down. Passes it. McCray going to miss. But then it's... Who is that? To finish it. I don't, I'm don't. i actually not sure who that is. That's a Porter, I think. Our, our power forward. Showing power. 67-64. to Houston takes the lead here. Atlanta. Um, letting this home crowd get back involved here. Houston, the stadium is loud. 67-66. Houston has the ball. Tyrell passes to Sampson. Sampson, their star center. Going to pass it back to Oliver. Oliver, what's he going to do with it? Back to Sampson. Sampson says, okay, fine. Back to Oliver. Oliver. To... I can't see the name. But he's going to take it from the free throw line, and it's not going to go in. And now Atlanta has a chance to take the lead with less than a minute to go. And, oh, no, they also have, like, the fire icons around them. Oh man, and that's I'm not sure what that actually means. Somebody let me know. I think that means they're in the zone, kind of like Madden, and uh, they're gonna be extra good. And uh, well, okay, so it's a tied game. This is not who you want to go to the free throw line. I'll tell you that much. 67-67 here, 
And Atlanta's going to take the lead right back. We might have a classic later. 23 seconds left. 70-67. Can Houston pull off a miracle? They send the thing. And it's Tyrell Oliver. No, but it's the rebound in extra. The second chance shot that gets them within one. 15 seconds left. Do we have a classic match on our hands? A classic 84-1984 matchup against Houston and Atlanta right now. Possibly 70-69. Tyrell Oliver, if he would have hit that one point, though, it would be a tied, that three-pointer, it would have been a tied game, but he hasn't been able to hit anything here today. He is the three-point, you know, artist, and then he makes it, get, stayed in the paint too long, and now gives Atlanta two, two free shots, or, or maybe that's not what this is. This is just, he got fouled, but anyway, 72 to 69. They're going to run one last play. 13 seconds left. Tyrell Oliver. He's going to take it from the three-point line, and he hits it. It's a tied game. 10 seconds left, and Houston is screaming right now. He's missed a lot all day long, but when it counted, when the pressure was all on, he hit it, and they played defense. The crowd is reacting like crazy, jumping up and down, and Tyrell Oliver takes us to overtime. Who, who said that 2K doesn't have a, a, a nice reacting crowd? Because whoever said that needs to get slapped in the face. Because what I just seen, they reacted to Houston uh, to Atlanta missing the, uh, the go-ahead point. At least coming from Madden, the crowd is way more reactive. So... Wow, what Tyrell Oliver gets his time to shine in the NBA. Maybe we didn't make a mistake picking that guy up. I know he only has five points, but he's, you know, four assists on the day. But he is a rookie, you know. Got to bear with him. And it's Samson finishing it in the paint like he always does. Houston takes the lead here in overtime, 74-72. We do have one hell of a classic matchup here. Houston to Atlanta. We'll always look back at this classic matchup here. Oh no, got time. Goes to the paint and Wilkins is gonna finish that. I mean, that's just too easy. 74-74, two minutes. And, oh, just, no defense, man. We gotta play defense, Tyrell. All right, here we go, 75 to 74, Atlanta. A minute and a half, and he can't finish, but the second chance rebound, dude. We cannot afford that we can't three-point shot is missed but Samson's gonna finish it up with the tip and honestly the Rockets do that a lot they'll just throw up that three-point shot knowing Samson's in the paint and he'll normally finish it there nice defensive rebound this game is not over but Houston needs a little bit of a run here Oliver jumped down he didn't want to finish it himself and Second chance, third chance. No, you're not going to get the third chance. Atlanta playing a shutdown defense, and they get the defensive rebound, finally. And they're going to finish. Oh, now it's 80. And that would do it. That you know, Atlanta went on the run in overtime. 83-78 to 78 would, would be the finish here. It's a classic, if you ask me. Um, maybe a little bit of a rivalry building up between Houston and Atlanta. That was fun. Fun game to watch. Uh, I feel like we just didn't play defense when we needed to. I mean, there's Sampson getting blocked. That's a rare sight. But that dunk right there. I mean, just go cutting through all of Houston defense. Um, and I know that this is a lower scoring game. So you're like, defense? What are you talking about? Well, we're playing shorter quarters. So trust me when I say our defense is not good. Well, we're also gonna sim. Um, honestly, I'll show you guys this, but we're we're I'm gonna be simming. So the next thing you guys are gonna see is probably the playoffs, because um I'm yeah this season there's no point of us hopping into another one. The, you know the season's over for us. So I'll see you guys in the playoffs. I hope you enjoyed them, and I hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, see you on the next one.